What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys a very quick 30 minute intense workout that you can do at home. If you guys have been following along my journey, you will know that I went from bodybuilding basically my entire life. So a lot of static movements, lunges, bicep curls, lateral raises, all of that and never really focused on functional training or never focused on keeping my heart rate up throughout my entire workout sessions. So this past few months, I have completely changed my training. It really has changed my mindset and my physique. What I've been doing, if you guys are new to my channel, is keeping my heart rate up throughout most of my training sessions and really focusing on intensity throughout. When I was bodybuilding, I would have a set split every week. It would be like glutes and hams one day, shoulders one day, back one day, buys and tries, etc. So I would only be working one part of my body and it was great. It really gave me the muscle foundation that I needed that changed my physique in that way. But I got really bored of that type of training and my physique wasn't really turning into a physique that I was striving for. I was very strong, but I kind of wanted to be feeling like myself again and feeling toned and a little bit tighter and fitting into my clothes because during those phases I was either bulking pretty hard or cutting pretty hard. There was no in between. Whereas now I have found a really great balance of weightlifting, yes, but also keeping the intensity high throughout my training and training, trying all different types of training. So I really want you guys to find what works for you, your body, and your motivation. For me, this has really helped keep my motivation. What that is, is basically focusing on intensity throughout the entire session. So for instance, I've been doing a lot of EMOMs, which is every minute on the minute. And I actually came out with an EMOM guide because this was so beneficial to my life and really changed my physique. So I wanted to create something that would help you guys do the same. So I created that and you guys have been loving that. I will link it down in the description if you guys want to check it out. But basically you can do it at home. You can do it with dumbbells, kettlebells, or just body weight if you prefer. Let's say there's 12 reps in the entire minute. You want to finish those 12 reps with good form pretty quickly so that you have the rest of the minute to rest. So let's say I finish the 12 reps within 30 seconds. I will then have 30 seconds to rest before I move on to the next exercise. So I've really found that when I started EMOMs, it was so hard for me. It was just so challenging and I absolutely hated them. But over time, I would say a month or two, my body started to change, my endurance started to change, and I felt a lot more energy throughout the day. So I've been doing EMOMs, I've been doing a lot more functional training, so not just one static movement. I will do like a squat into a press and back down, something like that that really gets the body moving and twisting in a ton of different ways and not just focusing on one body part. So that's what I've been doing, uh, keeping the intensity there as well, so keeping my heart rate up the entire training session and only resting when I need to rest. If you're trying to build strength and muscle, this is not the type of way you want to be training. But for right now, I'm trying to maintain my body and also boost my metabolism. And this is what has helped. So I'm about to show you guys a really quick at home workout that you guys can do in 30 minutes. It's going to help blast fat, boost metabolism, and just keep your energy up throughout the entire day. Without further ado, let's go work out. Alrighty, let's get started. So like I said at the beginning, it is optional to have dumbbells and a kettlebell, but if you don't have that, all of these exercises can work with just your body weight. So the first exercise we're doing is a burpee. I like to go all the way down to the ground and push up. You wanna make sure your core is tight, you're jumping as high as you can. You're going to do 12 reps and then rest for however many seconds you have left. The next exercise is a wide stance, toes out, glute focus squat. You're gonna do 10 of those and then you're going to do 10 weightless. As you notice, my knees going out and not caving in throughout this entire exercise the next exercise is 10 reverse lunges 
right and left. One thing about lunges is if you're going reverse, you're going to hit your glutes, but if you are doing them in front of you, if you are stepping in front of you instead of behind you, you're going to be working more your quads. So anytime you do a lunge, if you wanna work your glutes, step behind you. The next exercise is a sit-up. What you want to do is 10 weighted sit-ups with your kettlebell or dumbbell. If you can't quite get these yet, don't worry, just do them weightless. And then after you do the weighted, you want to do 10 weightless. And whenever I do sit-ups, I always think about each and every vertebrae on the way up and all the way and on the way down curling so that every vertebrae hits the carpet or the ground. You really want to contract your entire core throughout this exercise. The next exercise, you're going to do 12 lateral raises with your dumbbells. And once you're done with this, you're going to bend over and do some rows. So this is going to hit mainly your upper back. And if you don't have dumbbells, you can modify by doing push-ups um, and doing them on your knees so that they're a little bit easier. The next thing is a kettlebell swing, and it's really easy to get the form wrong. So if you want to go on YouTube and find like a tutorial step-by-step -step on how to do these, that would be really helpful just so you know exactly what to do, because I see a lot of people doing these wrong. You're going to do 15 burpees. And then the next exercise is a booty blaster or donkey kick. You're going to do 20 on the right and 20 on the left. If you want to make it harder, you can always add a, a weight on the back of your knee. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you liked it. Comment down below, subscribe, and I love you guys. See you in the next one.